Hello, this is Pastor Nick Hood. I'm today in a place called Oceano, California. We're out here with our grandchildren, our children, and uh, just having a little relaxing time. But it's interesting, I received a text today from one of our church members, Anthony Van Lowe, who told me that uh, he was riding in his vehicle. He has a 14-year-old dog. I think it's a Yorkshire, I think. But uh, he said, you know, my dog is getting old. Uh, he eats, he poops. And he said, I look at my dog in his old age and I begin to wonder who will care for me when I get old? Who will care for us when we get old? And I began to ask myself that question because um, that's a real question. And, uh, and I began to ask myself, what in the Bible gives us hope and assurance for those days when uh, we get old and we may wonder in our youth, when we get old, who will care for us? One of those texts uh, I focus on for tonight, uh, I hope is familiar to you, but if not, I'd like to recite it for you from the 23rd Psalm. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Think about what that psalm says. The Lord is my shepherd. He doesn't say my mother is my shepherd, my father is my shepherd. He doesn't say my boss is my shepherd, my commander is my shepherd, but the Lord is my shepherd. And because it is the Lord who is my shepherd, I shall not want. Now, why is that significant? Because one day your mother will die. One day your father will die. One day your sister and brother may die or become incapacitated. But if it is the Lord who is your shepherd, you will not want. And because it is the Lord who is our shepherd, he said, he maketh me to lie down in green pastures. What does the sheep want? More than green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. What does the sheep want? beside green pastures in still waters. He says, yea, though I go through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Uh, it's one thing to have to deal with trouble uh, when you're on your own, but it's another thing when you're in a troubled situation and you have somebody who literally has your back. If you're in a dark alley and it's a threatening situation, who would you want at your back? And I tell you, I don't know, you know, I've, I've got a lot of friends, but sometimes, you know, your friends will desert you, but the Lord will never, <clears throat> ever desert you. And because of that, to my church members concern, who will care for me? He said, I'm caring for my 14 year old dog that is dying and getting closer to death every day, but who will care for me? And I raise the question to you, who will care for you? when you get to the point when you cannot care for yourself, when you cannot think for yourself, when you cannot feed yourself, when you can't take the cup of water and put it to your lips yourself, who will feed you? And I tell you who it is, it's the Lord. And so that's the hope that I give you today uh, for any person who's alone, any person who's gone through this pandemic, shut up in the house, any person who's wondering when it comes my time to go the way of the world, who will be with me? I want to give you this assurance. Jesus Christ will never leave you nor forsake you. I invite you now to join with me in prayer. Gracious Master and our God, I pray in the name of Jesus that you might reassure each of us. Reassure each of us that we do not have to walk the walk of life all alone, but that in you we have a Savior, in you we have a friend in you. We have comfort and assurance in Jesus Christ. I pray. Amen. God bless. God keep you. This is Pastor Nick Hood. And remember, I am praying for you.